those aha moments yesterday and I thought I would show you what I did uh, because I'm really quite pleased with this. What I've done is turned one of my spare Midoris, oh this is all loose, hang on, one of my spare Midoris into a sticker holder. <laughs> it's like the holy grail, I've made a sticker holder that works. Um, of course you can make different variations on this, you can, uh, it's just tucked in under the elastic so you could make a thin one with just one set of stickers and put it in your Midori. You could make a really thick one and use it as a book in a Midori like I've done or even, you know, my, my Midori isn't stuffed to the brim, I only have two books in it so I can actually put this in as a third book if I want to. You could put a cardboard cover on it and um, you know literally turn it into a self-contained thing so let me grab a sheet of paper here somewhere I must have one somewhere That'll do. so you could actually you know make a cover whoops for it and stick that on and you could even leave the flap and add the flap if you wanted to, turn it into a self-contained unit. You could use your, if you've got peerless watercolours, you could use the peerless watercolour palette as a cover for the sticker set. All sorts of things you can do with it. Basically, it works for any stickers that are the same size. Now, these are the standard size uh, diary stickers, which are the same size as a Midori book. I uh, can't remember what the sizing is. I think it's... Uh, is it B7? I'm never quite sure what the sizing is. It's uh, it When you open it out, it's 8 by 8 inches. So it's like 8 by 4 folded in half. Or, or one third of a sheet of A4. So if you've got a sheet of A4 like this, and you fold it in thirds, you get Midori size. The small ones tend to be A6 size, so that's these, these are A6 size, so basically 6x4, which is 2 inches shorter than the Midori standard. Bit bigger than Field Notes, bit bigger than, uh, quite a lot bigger actually than Midori Passport, same size as Hobonichi Teicho. Okay, so let me show you how I did this. What you will need is either strips of paper or some paper tape is easier and some sort of glue tape thing you could use glue dots yeah what anything that will stick it basically uh, i just find a tape runner to be the easiest way to do it and of course you will want your stickers so i've got two sets here they're both sets of five because the fifth page i've taken out i've put somewhere that's else and I don't know where I've put them. I can't for the life of me think. I think they might be in my Midori. Uh, I always take out the sheet. There's one sheet in every pack that's got really tiny planner stickers and I always take those out and put them separate. So they usually look something like this or uh, in a, a set like these Bonnie ones. See these are the Bonnie stickers and then you'll get a set like this. That's a, the same set. I tend to take those out, but I've put them back in this big set. So for this little set, I've got two that are missing, but that's okay because what I'm gonna end up with is a book like this. And all I'll do is I'll put the two planner sets on the front and the back. That'll work for me. Okay, so I've got five pages some paper tape and what you want to do is measure enough paper tape to be longer than the height of the pages this is the trickiest bit actually doing this first piece fold it under at the ends and stick it to the table so that it's longer than the bits are going to be sticking to it okay like that Now the first sticker set 
is going to be, move these out of the way, the first sticker set is going to be on this side and we're just going to place one down like that. You can measure it out if you want it to be specifically straight, I found it doesn't really matter. You want about, there's about half an inch, centimetre and a half overlap there. And then you want to do the same on the other side and try and get them as even as you can, but they don't have to be identical. It helps if they're even at the top and bottom. That looks about right to me. Like I say, you can measure it if you really want to. The thing you have to remember is that if you're going to put tape on something, it's not going to be on the front of the stickers. So at this point, you're not going to put another piece of tape down, you're not going to use your roller. It's got to be another set of stickers because you can't put anything else on top of your stickers. You'll ruin your stickers. So you take your next sheet of stickers and you turn it over and place it down like that. And what I've found is easiest is to use a magnetic bookmark clip to hold them together just to keep them in place it's not you know it's... do whatever you have to do to be happy with how it's lined up okay I don't really care if it doesn't line up it's close enough all right now what we're going to do is put down another piece of tape now be careful with your tape. You do not want to stick your tape sticky side down. You always want to put your tape sticky side up. Because if you think about it, you're not going to be able to put your new set of stickers on top and stick it down if you don't put your sticky tape face up. But if you put your sticky fa tape face up, this side is not sticky, so there's nothing to stick those two together. So. This is where your tape runner comes in. And I'm just going to run a line of tape along that inside edge. Now I can put my tape on and my tape will stick to that. So line your tape up with the other tape you've got underneath and pop it down. If you need to adjust, now's the time to do it before you stick it down in any way. And then, because this is sticky, you can't just like rub it or whatever, just hold it and tap it with your fingernails or the tips of your fingers or something, just to stick that down for the moment. Now we're going to take the next set of stickers and these are going to be side up and we're going to line them up with, you can see the sticker sheets underneath, I don't know if it's shown on camera but you can see them when you're actually doing this. Okay, line it up and stick that down and because that's non-sticky you can now press that down like that. Add that to the clip, repeat on the other side. <clears throat> so line it up press it down like so now we're going to have to put another one face down to make the opposing page so this is going to go on here and I'm going to tape it before I put it down on there purely because it's a bit easier. So right along the edge, slide it under your magnet and then line it up with that sheet there. So now the next one, same thing again, so it's going to go there, I need to stick this side this time. slide it under your magnet and line it up. 
get your next piece of tape. Now if that's all the stickers you've got, you could put this sticker to tape down. I'm not going to because I've got another sheet left. That's going to go on there like that. Line it up. Tack it into place. And then I've got one more sheet here. This one has actually got a hole. Now that hole is going to be right where the sticky is going to be. You see there? So what I'm going to do is just work out where that sticky bit is going to be and just stick a piece of tape down underneath that hole. So it's going to be about there. just so the sticky doesn't come through the hole. I can now put that down. Stick that down, see, and that's not sticky now. So now we can push that down. Uh, that's not quite lined up, that's gonna annoy me, so I'm gonna carefully take that off again. line it back up because it's paper tape it's nice and easy to mess about with there you go that's better so I can now press that down like that now when you reach the end of your book what you can do is put a piece of uh, washi tape I actually used this plastic deco tape down the centre Take enough that it'll go over the edges. And I put it so that it didn't quite, so it didn't cover up any of the stickers, but it covered over the edge of the paper, like so. And then I put another piece overlapping the other way. doing the same. Again, don't cover over any of the edges of the stickers. Okay, now that this is not sticky anymore we can get our bone folder or whatever it is you use to burnish, back of a teaspoon or something, I don't know, we can give this a good press down, particularly on that bit in the middle because we've never actually pressed that down in any way. And trim off the excess. If you've lined it up very carefully, these should all trim evenly, but you might have to go back in and trim them individually. I had two with mine because I wasn't very careful with it the first time. All right, now we're nearly done. <clears throat> the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the pages, okay? So here's a page that's a sticker set. Here's a page that isn't, and it's stuck together at the end, at the middle. So what you wanna do is just run a little bit of tape along those edges so that it becomes a full page. There's another one. You can do this while you're putting it together, but I found it just really irritating to even try. Uh, it was hard enough getting them lined up without having to worry about the edges being sticky or not sticky or whatever. Now this one, the sticky things have a tendency to come out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually put sticky on all of them 
Whoops, see that happens. I'm just rolling it across all my stickers. I'll come back to that one. So that I can stick that down and then all the stickers will stick to the back of that. And I can just... There she is. That's the one that was out of line. I can put her back in there. If any of them come off, I can just stick them back in with a little bit of paper tape. It's a duff set. It's very, very rare to get a duff set. They were just punched through too hard. Oops. go and what you're left with is this you got a little sticker book and you can do this with any sets of stickers that are the same size if you did it with smaller ones and larger ones like these are smaller no oh. no these are smaller there you go uh, you would have bits at the edge that were sticky, so you need to put the two that are the same size together. So what I'll do with these is trim the excess titles off of those and put these two sets together. You can, of course, put more than two sets together. I've got about six sets together in this one. And when I get my... When I find the diary set, the planner set that goes with it, I'll just stick that onto here with this. So the front and the back will tell me which sticker sets I've got in this set. I'm going to fold it in half as near as I can. Press that down. Give it a bit of a fold. And if you're going to put it in a Midori, I suggest just clipping off the corners you know like with the uh, craft wallets it just holds it better so you get a little notch in the middle there and it just holds it better I did the same with this one just cut a little notch and then the elastic seats under that so it stops it sliding around because it's quite shiny this now this one can go underneath my bottom elastic it's a little bit too wide. It actually fits perfectly in the original Midori. This is one of my, Ray Blake's Midoris. Faux Dories. So put that one under there. Now I've got my little stickers and my big stickers all in one book. And of course, like I said, you could put a card or a paper cover on this. You could put just one set of stickers in a set so that you only have one set with you which would be just six pages I like to put at least two sets together uh, sometimes more and um, yeah there we go that's how you make a little sticker booklet from your diary stickers and it works as I said with any booklets that are the same height they don't necessarily have to be the same width. These aren't the same width. This one is quite a lot thinner than this one. Uh, but it's just, you know, it's taking it right up to the edge there. And it's a bit of extra there. As long as they're near enough the same size, it'll work fine. And you can do this with uh, anything that's standard size. So peel-offs. If you've got loads and loads of peel-offs, you could make yourself a little sticker book from those as well. You could probably even do it with cling stamps, now I think about it. If you've got sets of stamps like this that are on cling, hopefully they stick a bit better than mine do. Mine don't cling that well. Uh, but if you've got lots of these that are all the same size, you could probably do something similar with these. Possibly not in a majority. Okay, so that is my little sticker storage solution and of course I can keep them in this Midori and just take the ones with me that I want 
or I can, like I say, use them as a full book in my regular Midori if I want to have all my stickers together.